This is a teardown of a first alert carbon monoxide alarm, model number CO400. First thing I noticed that was kind of interesting on this is there's two safety mechanisms to make sure that you can't shut this cover without the battery in. The first one, you got this little hook here, which will press up against the battery when you're closing it. And if there is no battery installed, then it'll get caught on this little edge here and you can't push it down, whoops, without breaking it. <laughs> I didn't mean to push that hard, but... Um, also, there's this little notch that sticks down here that prevents you from pushing the cover down with the battery not fully engaged. So the battery's not in full contact with its connector. It might be hanging out back here. Well, it'll bypass that first safety but then your second safety mechanism won't let you push the cover down all the way. Or in my case, I accidentally break the cover by pushing down too hard. This is held together by little plastic snap tabs. I'm gonna do this off camera. Hopefully. This is a destructive teardown since this unit does not work. Plus I I think it might be past its expiration date if it has one. There we are. I'm not doing this the nicest way since this is a destructive teardown, but basically you stick your screwdriver in there and you pry against the uh, little locking tab, I think, there we go. Not much to see on the inside. The uh, battery connector is something a person could salvage. It's just a standard snap-on battery connector like you'd see in a toy. It has this nice little connector on the end, which should be a fairly standard size of pinout. Yeah, and then inside, this is all just snapped together. Everything's molded to be toolless, basically, which is kind of nice. But make assembly really easy. There's not much to see on the board. This is your alarm. This is your sensor. And the button that you interact with externally. Looks like there's an LED there for uh, notification purposes if, if the alarm's not going off or to let you know if um, if, if you know battery's working and stuff if memory serves correct huh not sure how that works that's definitely over my head because I don't see any obvious openings Interesting. I'm sure someone out there has probably made a video on this. It's better than than mine, but yeah. Looks like there's a microprocessor near the uh, sensor. Let's see if we get that to focus. I'm not sure what that would be. It's something custom. Also, probably going to be hard to show, but there is something under the alarm buzzer. I do not think I'm going to be able to get to that, though, without being super destructive. That's probably just a driver circuit of some sort to uh, make the tone. So there's a capacitor in there, too. Might be like an amplifier. Get that in frame. Oh, the surface mount electrolytic. And then on the other side is a uh, surface mount transistor. There we go. Right there. But pretty simple and elegant design. All the uh, molding does the work. 
of for for holding it together and assembling stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching.